Okay, doing the power line run uh, today. It's uh, Saturday. Everybody's out walking, so I'm guessing I'm going to meet some people along the way. Just started the power line because the other trial was filled up with people walking around having a nice day so don't want to go riding on top of people when they're walking their Saturday walk and pissing them off so I figured out that there's probably not a lot of people walking in this mud hole yeah, after fixing this the other day, there's not a lot of water there. Cool. Whoa. Kind of slidey on the rocks today. seen that that's a possibility to go there but it seems a bit swampy so I'll probably not do it oh. one who put those wooden sticks here fucked up that line oh Okay, got really stuck right there. Should go the other line though. Probably 10 times smarter. And this mud smells like, yeah. It doesn't smell great. And since I've started from all the way where I live, I'm already kind of winded. So I'm not doing it super fast. You're just riding to get more technical skills. Whoa! I always forget this part because of the rocky ride up to it kind of lose my focus a bit and always forget that that hole is there I'll take the return That's the downhill park here. Oh, this rock is a challenge on dry days, but I did this the other day when it was raining. And let me tell you one thing that was not fun.
and people camping out on the start of the woody trial so that's why I didn't go riding right through their camp or camp and camp they set up some chairs and a fire and shit so don't want to go riding through there and bother them but on my way back I think I'm gonna do the wooded trial again and when I get back they probably move because then it's a bit later in the day and it starts getting dark around four or five o'clock in the day so hopefully they are not there when I come back I really want to ride that muddy trail but not today seems like the rest of the people that have been riding here had the same conclusion I could go faster here but I don't want to end up looking like a muddy fucking blob oh the guy lost his tire here so I met a guy with two tires dragging behind him down the road and then I don't think he noticed that he missed a tire so if he is watching this video your tire is right here <laughs> To drag three tires through here it's not something I wanted to do she has to be training for something big maybe it was a boxer or a MMA fighter or something don't know, didn't ask. Yeah. See, even though it's not that much mud in this hole, people are still not running through it because it's fucking deep. Trial is just long enough and technical enough and muddy enough to tire you out. I kind of like it. Not too much uphill and not too much downhill technical difficulty huh? if you don't know the track it can be hard but if you've done it a couple of times it gets easier and easier and then you remember where you had your accidents or almost accidents and then you get to just plow through it afterwards I don't know where this trail goes. Let's find out. I don't have a clue. Is it the one that goes back again? Yeah, it's the one that goes back again. 
Oh no. Only problem with going down this trail is if I hurt myself, I don't have a clue where I'm at. Ended off the bridge. seem like a good idea to try to bunny jump this in this weather with this wooden board being that slippery I don't even have grips with my shoes so I should probably have been uh, running my ice spikers right now and I would have tons of grip back my toe let's see here's a bit conundrum do I go the blue line there up through there or down the blue line that way a little road sign here would be a great thing I think I'm going to follow the blue line even though it looks like it's through some fallen trees and shit yeah and if you think that I swear a lot in my videos I'm from the north of Norway so if we don't have one swear word in one, a sentence it's a shame uh, hey people Oh. Chose the wrong route there. Whew. Thought my back, back tire was flat, but it wasn't. starting up in the root garden in low gear with the front fork completely open is kind of challenging because oh. if you get the front wheel stuck on the root and you try to push on it's like not working with small trees whipping your face super awesome oh. uh, I was a challenging root garden uh, we probably do greater if I knew where the trail goes and how it looks like but it's got to be a first time for everything trail goes 
all over the place. Oh, is this the... Oh! Okay. Now I think no, I know where I'm at. This is the one that goes over the big rock where the, there's a mud hole bridge beneath it. Ow! Ow! Some hidden roots there. Giving me some shit. Oh! This does not look fun. Or does it? It's deep! Holy shit, and somebody put a stick there. That just was a sucky fucking stick. Oh, what a moron. Okay. If it weren't for that stick, shit, I would have gotten through there. I move it. So the next guy who comes here doesn't get. Yeah. Look at my fucking shoe. I just sank right in there. I was fucking deep. How the fuck do I get out of this? Jesus. God damn, that was deep. And there was no way getting out of it either. Can't even pedal through this. Jesus, this was a deep puddle. That was a swampy hole. That's the shit about running the 203 rotors. They are so big that they get stuck in the mud trying to do the biggest mud holes. But they are good for braking. So. Okay, there's a horse, so I'm gonna take it a bit easy. Yeah, first trial done, just gonna do a leg of straight down the street. So, thanks for watching this. I might film some more after doing this transport leg. So, 
either keep watching or yeah just leave a like leave a comment all that shit uh, yeah <laughs> start the video with me sliding in the mud and almost tipping over I'm back on the wood trial now did the longest skid down that uh, or not the longest ever but I did a pretty long skid to get to the start of this trail and the jogging lady I was coming up the hill I think she got scared She's, she just suddenly turned uh, and started running on the right side of the trail and kind of looked up and what the fuck are you doing kind of way and on the trail there I was inside of a corner biking on the right side there's a dude coming towards me and he cuts the corner and almost run straight into me so I like screamed at him you fucking asshole there's rules about unwritten rules about where to ride your bike like if it's a clear corner and you want to go on the inside yeah you can do it but if it's people or bikes or dogs or whatever there you don't cut the fucking corner that's like you should know that when you're like 50 60 years old so i screamed at the old guy like you fucking moron ah. did i go past the start of the diff trial again yeah of course i fucking did <laughs> too busy talking right so i forgot that i have to turn off this line Okay, it's in here. Jesus. I always forget to check where it goes. Or forget where it goes, basically. Oh. Before I get in too deep here, I'm gonna drop my seat post. That's not a fun situation. I hit my leg on that fucking old root there. Got my shit stuck underneath there. Ah. Hang up on the back root. Shit, root on the back wheel, rock on the front wheel. I got locked off. Ugh. Impaled on this fucking thing. Shit. I actually prefer doing this in the night time because then I couldn't see all the shit that impales me. <sighs> Kinda dropped the seat a bit low. Oh, 
that tree is where the original root went and that's a floaty asshole of gook oh ah fuck me hit down with the bottom of my shoe so feet the feet flew off the pedals there And I think now I might be like 2.5 kilometers into the day's ride. So starting to get a bit tired of all the technical shit. Kind of mentally tired, not physically tired. And that guy who just cut me off in the corner pissed me the fuck off and he should be happy it's not a young guy because then I would have went after him and smacked him in the back of the head and asked what kind of fucking IQ he has or if he had some IQ at all I'm all about being polite. Well, when you do shit like that, it just pisses me the fuck off. I don't think I wanted to try this shit on an e-bike. due to the weight of an e-bike and I haven't ridden an e-bike I kind of don't even want to try one uh, let's see that's my tracks from the other day over the water obstacle but this obstacle is so fucking deep, I'm not gonna pedal through it. Because then the pedals get all gunked. And gunk on the pedals means slipping off the pedals even more. I checked the treads on the shoes and since I've been using the shoes a lot there's not a lot of oh fuck me oh, pattern underneath the shoes so they're extra slippy right now it's not even biking shoes it's uh, Gore-Tex winter shoes but they work pretty great for this as well. Ah. Yeah, here you see my problem with the roots and my pedals. I got 175 crank arms and kind of big pedals because uh, I got big feet. So they kind of hit down often. I have got some IFX pedals in my shopping cart. Just gotta wait for some money to magically appear in my account. And then I will get uh, the new pedals probably sometime after Christmas because shipping into Norway takes a whole bunch of long fucking time and this is where that fucking tree is in the middle of the trial uh, 
just clean this shit up a bit see if I can break this or move it There we go. Open the trail some. Makes it easier. I was half a workout in its own. But now it's rideable. Look at these guys. Has been Riding here is going around the trees at this root bridge. It's not even fun to try to go over, slip on that root. I'm gonna be laying here for days. See if I can get up this hill here without. getting off the bike the line there could be easier than trying to bounce up this shit to see if I can no it's not because yeah then I hit this shit Rydda litt, det er trær borti her. Hæ? Rydda litt trær, så det blir lettere borti enn om her. Got up the route, but oh shit, root. First time I just blasted up this. Probably had it in the low gear range. Now I'm winded, probably. Got it in a too hard gear. And the roots of course are really slippery. Should have some more air in the tires, but I like riding with a low tire pressure instead of blowing the tires on roots, rocks, and all that other shit. And they are more grippy running them really low. Snake bites. 
I haven't had one of those in a long time because of course I'm running tubes I don't know I just feel safer running tubes I haven't tried the tubeless system yet thinking of buying some new rims and putting my winter tires on them and then maybe I will run tubeless I don't know so that's the end of the trail so again thanks for watching oh shit there's a dog there oh Thanks for watching. So, I'm gonna do a staircase now. Just for the hell of it. It's not that big one, but. skater kid hang out nice jump there but did not have enough speed 